15 Daily Mistakes That Silently Destroy Your Lungs Did you know that small daily habits might be silently destroying your lungs? Is it possible to reverse the damage caused over the years? How can you protect your lungs from invisible threats you encounter every day? Maintaining lung health is simpler than it seems, but it requires specific attention and care. Additionally, could your diet be harming your breathing? In this video, we'll uncover the biggest threats to your lungs and explore strategies to avoid future damage. Get ready to discover how some daily mistakes might be negatively impacting your ability to breathe well and live fully. Are you prepared to learn these secrets and transform your lung health? Stay tuned until the end, because mistake 13 is the most serious, and few people know about it. Important! We've listed all the references used to create this video in the description for you to access anytime. Let's get started. Can lung damage be reversed? Completely reversing lung damage is difficult, but in some cases, improvements are possible. When lungs are damaged by diseases like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or fibrosis, scar tissue and loss of function are permanent. However, quitting smoking, avoiding pollutants, and starting specific treatments can stabilize or even partially improve lung function. In cases of infection or inflammation, such as pneumonia, the lung can recover with proper treatment. Breathing exercises and a healthy diet also contribute to lung health, but total tissue regeneration is rare. 15 Daily Mistakes That Silently Destroy Your Lungs 1. The Deadly Danger Hidden in Every Puff of a Cigarette Smoking is one of the biggest threats to lung health. Cigarettes contain thousands of chemicals, many of them toxic and carcinogenic, that destroy lung tissue and impair respiratory capacity. Over time, smoking leads to the development of severe diseases, such as chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and lung cancer. Additionally, smoking weakens the immune system, making the lungs more susceptible to infections. The risk is not limited to active smokers. Secondhand smoke also poses a significant health hazard, exposing others to the same risks of lung diseases. The best way to protect your lungs is to quit smoking as soon as possible and avoid exposure to secondhand smoke. Quitting smoking is an essential step in lung recovery and preventing future diseases. 2. Is vaping really safer? The shocking truth you need to know. While vaping is often promoted as a safer alternative to traditional cigarettes, this practice can also cause significant lung damage. The liquids used in vaporizers contain nicotine and other chemicals that, when heated and inhaled, can cause lung inflammation and other respiratory problems. Studies have shown that vaping can lead to the development of bronchitis, asthma, and even more severe lung diseases, such as e-valley, e-cigarette, or vaping product use-associated lung injury. Additionally, many of the flavors added to vape liquids contain chemicals that, when inhaled, can cause permanent lung tissue damage. Like traditional cigarettes, avoiding vaping is crucial to protecting your lungs and ensuring a healthy respiratory life. 3. How your posture might be silently destroying your lungs. Poor posture, especially when sitting for long periods, can negatively impact lung health. When you slouch or maintain a hunched posture, your lungs' ability to expand fully during breathing is reduced. This limits the amount of oxygen that reaches your lungs and, consequently, the rest of your body. Poor posture can also cause muscle tension around the chest and back, further hindering deep breathing. Over time, this restriction can lead to chronic respiratory problems and weakened lung function. Maintaining correct posture with a straight back and relaxed shoulders is essential to allow your lungs to function efficiently, improving oxygenation and promoting overall respiratory health. Four. The Invisible Enemy – Environmental Contaminants You Can't Ignore Prolonged exposure to environmental contaminants such as air pollution, dust, and chemicals can cause severe lung damage. These contaminants, when regularly inhaled, can irritate the airways, leading to chronic inflammation and the development of diseases like asthma, bronchitis, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. Additionally, exposure to environmental pollutants can reduce the lungs' ability to clean and regenerate, making them more vulnerable to infections and permanent damage. Even in indoor environments, substances such as mold, dust, and cleaning products can pose significant risks to lung health. To protect your lungs, it's essential to reduce exposure to these contaminants 
by using air purifiers, avoiding polluted areas, and adopting cleaning practices that minimize the use of harsh chemicals. 5. Is your diet suffocating your lungs? Find out how. An unbalanced diet rich in processed foods can negatively impact lung health. Foods high in trans fats, salt and sugar can cause inflammation in the body, including the lungs, exacerbating conditions such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Additionally, a diet lacking essential nutrients like antioxidants and vitamins can weaken the immune system, making the lungs more susceptible to infections and respiratory diseases. The lack of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in the diet can also affect the lungs' ability to function properly due to a lack of fiber that helps eliminate toxins from the body. To keep your lungs healthy, it's essential to adopt a balanced diet rich in nutrients and low in processed and industrialized foods. 6. The surprising connection between sedentary lifestyle and your lung health. The lack of regular physical activity is a mistake that can seriously compromise lung health. A sedentary lifestyle reduces lung capacity, decreasing the efficiency with which the body absorbs and uses oxygen. Without the stimulation of physical activity, the muscles involved in breathing, such as the diaphragm, weaken, making deep breathing and adequate oxygen supply to the body more difficult. Additionally, a sedentary lifestyle can lead to the buildup of secretions in the lungs, increasing the risk of respiratory infections. Regular aerobic exercise, such as walking, running, or swimming, is essential for keeping the lungs healthy, as it strengthens respiratory muscles, improves lung capacity, and helps clear the airways. Incorporating physical activity into your daily routine is a crucial step for lung and overall health. 7. Are you really hydrated? The hidden impact of dehydration on your lungs. Inadequate hydration is a mistake that can negatively affect lung function. Water plays a vital role in keeping the airways clean and hydrated, facilitating breathing and the expulsion of secretions and toxins. When the body is dehydrated, secretions in the lungs become thicker and harder to eliminate, increasing the risk of infections and making breathing difficult. Additionally, Dehydration can worsen existing respiratory conditions such as asthma and bronchitis, making symptoms more severe. To keep your lungs functioning optimally, it's crucial to consume an adequate amount of fluids throughout the day, preferably water, and avoid drinks that can dehydrate you, such as coffee and alcohol. Good hydration is essential for respiratory health and preventing lung problems. 8. Why ignoring the doctor could cost your lungs life? Ignoring the importance of regular medical checkups is a mistake that can have serious consequences for lung health. Many lung problems, such as asthma, COPD, and lung cancer, can be silent in their early stages, with symptoms only appearing when the condition is already advanced. Regular medical checkups allow for the early detection of any abnormalities, facilitating treatment and preventing serious complications. Additionally, regular exams can help monitor lung function adjust treatments, and advise on lifestyle changes that can improve respiratory health. Don't wait until symptoms become severe to seek medical help. Regular visits to the doctor are an essential preventive measure to keep your lungs healthy and identify potential problems before they become critical. 9. The Silent Killer – How Secondhand Smoke Is Destroying Your Lungs being a passive smoker, that is, inhaling smoke from cigarettes smoked by others, is a significant risk to lung health. Secondhand smoke contains many of the same toxic and carcinogenic substances found in the smoke inhaled directly by the smoker. This exposure can lead to the development of severe lung diseases, such as asthma, chronic bronchitis, and lung cancer, even in people who have never smoked directly. Children and adults exposed to secondhand smoke are at higher risk of developing respiratory infections and suffering from reduced lung capacity. The only effective way to protect your lungs from the effects of secondhand smoke is to avoid environments where smoking is allowed and to advocate for smoke-free spaces. Protecting yourself from secondhand smoke is as important as avoiding smoking to maintain healthy lungs. 10. The Dark Truth About Alcohol and Your Lungs – What You Need to Know 
Excessive alcohol consumption can have significant adverse effects on lung health. Alcohol, especially when consumed in large quantities, can weaken the immune system, making the lungs more susceptible to respiratory infections like pneumonia. Additionally, alcohol can cause dehydration, which can worsen existing respiratory conditions and make it harder to eliminate mucus from the lungs. Chronic alcohol consumption is also associated with the development of severe lung diseases, such as acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, which can be fatal. To protect your lungs, it's important to moderate alcohol consumption and maintain a healthy lifestyle that includes proper hydration, a balanced diet, and regular physical exercise. Reducing alcohol intake is an essential preventive measure to preserve lung health. 11. Your home could be poisoning your lungs. Here's how to protect yourself. Exposure to environmental contaminants inside the home is a mistake that can compromise lung health. Mold, dust, tobacco smoke, cleaning chemicals, and even pollutants brought in from outside can accumulate indoors and be continuously inhaled. This chronic exposure can cause irritation in the airways, worsening conditions such as asthma and COPD, and increasing the risk of respiratory infections. Additionally, some contaminants, such as radon, a radioactive gas that can accumulate in basements, have been linked to lung cancer. To protect your lungs, it's essential to keep the home well ventilated, use air purifiers when necessary, clean regularly to prevent dust buildup, and choose less harsh cleaning products. Taking steps to reduce exposure to contaminants at home is crucial to maintaining lung health. 12. The hidden danger in everyday cleaning products. Frequent use of strong cleaning products such as bleach and disinfectants can have harmful effects on lung health. These products contain chemical compounds that, when inhaled, can irritate the airways and cause lung inflammation. Prolonged exposure to these products can lead to the development of chronic respiratory problems such as occupational asthma and bronchitis. Additionally, Mixing cleaning products, such as ammonia and bleach, can release toxic gases that are extremely dangerous to the lungs. To protect respiratory health, it's important to opt for less aggressive cleaning products, use masks and gloves when handling chemicals, and ensure that the environment is well ventilated during and after cleaning. Reducing exposure to strong cleaning products is an important preventive measure to maintain lung health. 13. The Unknown Risk how painkillers and sedatives affect your lungs. Excessive use of painkillers and sedatives can negatively affect lung health. Many of these medications, especially when taken in high doses or over long periods, can depress the respiratory system, making breathing difficult and reducing lung capacity. Additionally, chronic use of opioid painkillers is associated with an increased risk of respiratory depression, a condition where breathing becomes shallow and inadequate potentially fatal. Excessive use of these medications can also lead to tolerance and dependence, making it more difficult for the body to respond adequately to respiratory needs. To protect your lungs, it's essential to use painkillers and sedatives only as prescribed by a doctor and explore alternatives for managing pain and anxiety, such as physical and behavioral therapies. 14. The Deadly Trap of Not Exercising how it's killing your lungs. The lack of regular physical activity is a mistake that can seriously harm lung health. Without regular exercise, the lungs are not stimulated to function at their full capacity, leading to reduced respiratory efficiency and loss of lung elasticity. Engaging in physical activities, especially aerobic ones, strengthens the respiratory muscles, improves circulation, and increases the lungs' ability to absorb oxygen and eliminate carbon dioxide. Additionally, regular exercise helps keep the airways clear and prevent mucus buildup, reducing the risk of respiratory infections. To keep your lungs healthy and functioning optimally, it's important to incorporate physical activity into your daily routine, whether through walking, running, swimming, or other forms of aerobic exercise. 15. The Deadly Dust – The Shocking Truth About Silica and Asbestos Exposure to construction dust, such as silica and asbestos, is a serious risk to lung health. These materials, when inhaled, can cause permanent damage to lung tissue, 
leading to the development of severe diseases such as silicosis and asbestosis. Silica, found in materials like concrete, bricks, and tiles, can cause chronic lung inflammation, resulting in scarring that reduces respiratory capacity. Asbestos, once widely used in construction materials, is highly carcinogenic, and exposure to it is directly linked to the development of lung cancer and mesothelioma. For those who work in construction or are exposed to these materials, it's essential to use proper protective equipment, such as respiratory masks, and ensure that the work environment is well ventilated. Prevention is key to avoiding lung damage associated with exposure to these contaminants. Foods that harm your lungs. 1. Dairy, the hidden villain that might be suffocating your lungs. While dairy products are an important source of nutrients like calcium and protein, for some people, consuming dairy can harm lung health. Products like milk, cheese, and butter can increase mucus production, especially in individuals who already suffer from respiratory diseases such as asthma and bronchitis. Excess mucus can block the airways, making breathing difficult and increasing the risk of infections. Additionally, some people are lactose intolerant, which can cause inflammation and exacerbate respiratory problems. For those who notice increased mucus production or breathing difficulties after consuming dairy, it may be beneficial to reduce the intake of these foods or seek alternatives like almond or oat milk. Maintaining a balanced diet and observing how your body reacts to dairy is essential for protecting lung health. 2. Is salt killing your lungs? Discover the truth. Excessive consumption of foods high in salt can have harmful effects on lung health. Salt, in large quantities, can cause fluid retention in the body, leading to swelling of the airways and making breathing difficult. Additionally, excessive sodium intake can raise blood pressure, which can worsen pre-existing respiratory conditions such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. Processed foods such as chips, snacks, and processed meats are often loaded with salt, contributing to daily sodium intake well above the recommended levels. To protect your lungs and overall health, it's important to limit salt intake, choose fresh and natural foods, and use herbs and spices as healthy alternatives to season your meals. 3. The Dark Truth About Sulfites No one tells you. Sulfites are common preservatives found in many processed foods and beverages, such as wine, dried fruits, and sauces. For some people, especially those with asthma, sulfites can trigger allergic reactions that affect lung health, causing shortness of breath, wheezing, and even asthma attacks. Additionally, continuous exposure to sulfites can worsen chronic respiratory conditions and reduce lung capacity. Although not everyone is sensitive to sulfites, those with respiratory problems should be aware of their presence in foods and beverages and consider limiting their intake. Reading product labels and choosing sulfite-free alternatives is an effective way to protect lung health and avoid respiratory complications. 4. Processed Meats – The Deadly Danger You Eat Every Day Processed meats like bacon, sausages, and ham contain high levels of preservatives and additives that can harm lung health. These foods often contain nitrites and nitrates, chemicals used to preserve color and flavor, but when consumed in large quantities, they can cause inflammation in the body, including in the lungs. Chronic inflammation is a risk factor for developing respiratory diseases such as asthma and COPD. Additionally, processed meats are usually high in sodium, which can worsen respiratory problems and lead to fluid retention, increasing airway swelling. To protect your lungs, it's advisable to reduce the consumption of processed meats and opt for fresh, unprocessed proteins like fish, chicken, and legumes. 5. How fried foods are slowly destroying your lungs. Fried foods like french fries, fried chicken, and donuts are high in trans fats and saturated fats, which can harm lung health. These fats can cause inflammation in the body, exacerbating respiratory conditions such as asthma and bronchitis. Additionally, regular consumption of fried foods can lead to weight gain, which puts additional pressure on the lungs and heart, making breathing difficult and reducing lung capacity. Excessive intake of fried foods is also associated with an increased risk of chronic diseases, including heart disease and diabetes, which can negatively impact respiratory health. 
To protect your lungs and improve overall health, it's important to limit the consumption of fried foods and opt for healthier cooking methods such as grilling, baking, or steaming. The 6. Salicylates The common ingredient that might be sabotaging your breathing. Salicylates are natural compounds found in many foods, such as fruits, vegetables, spices, and some preservatives. While they are safe for most people, those with salicylate sensitivity may experience respiratory symptoms after consuming them, including shortness of breath, nasal congestion, and exacerbation of asthma. Foods high in salicylates include tomatoes, peppers, berries, coffee, and wine. For people with sensitivity, even small amounts of salicylates can trigger allergic reactions that affect the lungs and airways. If you suspect that salicylates are harming your respiratory health, it's important to consult a doctor for evaluation and possibly adjust your diet to avoid these compounds. Maintaining a diet that considers your individual sensitivities is crucial for protecting lung health. 7. Added Sugars – The Sweet Enemy of Your Lungs Excessive consumption of added sugars, found in sugary drinks, sweets, cakes, and processed foods, can have negative effects on lung health. Sugar, when consumed in large quantities, can contribute to inflammation in the body, including the lungs, exacerbating respiratory conditions such as asthma and bronchitis. Additionally, foods high in sugar can lead to weight gain, which puts additional pressure on the respiratory system, making breathing difficult and reducing lung capacity. Excessive sugar can also compromise the immune system, making the body more susceptible to respiratory infections. To protect your lungs, it's important to limit the consumption of added sugars and opt for natural, unprocessed foods that help maintain a balanced diet and promote respiratory health. 8. Trans fat, the silent killer hidden in your food. Foods rich in trans fats, such as margarine, cookies, fast food, and industrialized baked goods are harmful to lung health. Trans fats are known to cause inflammation in the body which can worsen respiratory conditions such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. Additionally, these fats can increase the risk of heart disease and obesity, which have direct impacts on lung function, making breathing difficult and reducing the lung's ability to expand properly. The chronic inflammation caused by trans fats can also compromise the body's immune response, increasing susceptibility to respiratory infections. To protect your lungs and improve overall health, it's essential to avoid foods high in trans fats and choose healthier options like unsaturated fats found in olive oil, avocado, and nuts. 9. Artificial Additives – The Hidden Poison Damaging your lungs, foods that contain artificial additives such as colorings, preservatives, and flavor enhancers can have adverse effects on lung health. These additives are found in many processed foods, including sodas, snacks, and sweets. For some people, especially those with sensitivities or allergies, these additives can trigger allergic reactions that affect the lungs, causing symptoms like shortness of breath, coughing, and wheezing. Additionally, frequent consumption of foods rich in artificial additives can contribute to chronic inflammation in the body, worsening respiratory conditions such as asthma and bronchitis. To protect lung health, it's important to read food labels and avoid products with an extensive list of artificial additives, opting for natural and minimally processed foods, which are more beneficial for the respiratory system and overall health. Habits to prevent lung damage 1. The hidden power of deep breathing to save your lungs Regular deep breathing practice is a powerful habit for maintaining lung health. When you breathe deeply, your lungs fully expand allowing oxygen to reach all parts of the lung tissue and helping to eliminate carbon dioxide and other toxins. Deep breathing also strengthens respiratory muscles, improves blood circulation, and promotes a sense of calm and relaxation, which can be especially beneficial in times of stress. Additionally, this practice can increase lung capacity, helping to prevent respiratory diseases and improve physical performance. Incorporating deep breathing exercises into your daily routine, whether through yoga techniques, meditation, or simple breaks during the day, can make a big difference in the health of your lungs 
and your overall quality of life. 2. Why visiting the doctor could be the key to healthy lungs. Maintaining regular doctor visits is an essential habit for preventing lung damage. Periodic medical exams allow for the early detection of any respiratory problems, such as asthma, bronchitis, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, before they worsen. Additionally, medical monitoring helps track lung health over time, adjusting treatments and interventions as needed to keep respiratory function at optimal levels. During checkups, the doctor may recommend specific tests, such as spirometry or x-rays, to assess lung health in detail. Not waiting until symptoms become severe to seek medical help is crucial for preventing serious complications. Regular visits to the doctor are a powerful preventive measure to protect your lungs and ensure a long and healthy life. 3. Hydration The simple secret to strong and healthy lungs. Maintaining good hydration is crucial for lung health. Water helps keep the airways hydrated, making it easier to breathe and expel mucus and toxins from the lungs. Dehydration can make mucus thicker and harder to expel, which increases the risk of respiratory infections and makes breathing difficult. Additionally, adequate hydration helps maintain lung elasticity, allowing them to expand and contract efficiently. Consuming enough liquids, especially water, throughout the day is a simple but effective way to support lung function. Drinking enough water is especially important during physical exercise or in dry climates, where fluid loss is greater. Good hydration is one of the pillars of keeping lungs healthy and functional. 4. How physical exercise can transform your lung health. Regular physical exercise is one of the best habits for maintaining healthy lungs. Exercise, especially aerobic activities such as walking, running, and swimming, strengthens respiratory muscles and improves lung capacity, allowing your lungs to function more efficiently. Additionally, regular exercise helps increase oxygen circulation in the body, promotes the elimination of toxins, and keeps the airways clear. Physical activity also reduces the risk of chronic respiratory diseases such as asthma and COPD by keeping the lungs active and able to handle respiratory challenges. Incorporating exercise into your daily routine, even if it's a brisk walk or a stretching session, can have significant benefits for lung health and overall well-being. Stay active and breathe better. 5. Avoid cigarettes. The essential step you need to take now. Avoiding cigarettes is one of the most important habits to protect lung health. Smoking is the leading cause of severe lung diseases such as lung cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and emphysema. Even for non-smokers, exposure to secondhand smoke also poses a significant risk as it contains many of the same toxic substances inhaled by smokers. Cigarettes damage lung tissue, reduce respiratory capacity, and weaken the immune system, making the lungs more vulnerable to infections and diseases. For smokers, quitting is the most crucial step to recovering lung health and preventing future complications. For those who have never smoked, avoiding environments with smoke and supporting policies that promote smoke-free environments are essential measures. Lung health largely depends on the decision to avoid cigarettes. 6. Protect yourself. How to prevent infections that can destroy your lungs. Preventing infections is an essential habit for maintaining lung health. Respiratory infections, such as colds, flu, and pneumonia, can cause significant damage to lung tissue, especially if not treated properly. To protect your lungs, it's important to adopt preventive measures such as washing your hands regularly, avoiding close contact with sick people, and keeping vaccines up to date, including the flu and pneumonia vaccines. Keeping the immune system strong through a healthy diet, regular exercise, and adequate sleep also helps prevent infections. Additionally, avoiding polluted or contaminated air environments can reduce the risk of respiratory infections. By preventing infections, you protect your lungs from unnecessary damage and help ensure that they remain healthy and functional throughout life. 7. The contaminants you can't see, but your lungs feel. Avoiding exposure to contaminants, both indoors and outdoors, is crucial for lung health. 
pollutants such as smoke, dust, chemicals, and fine particles can irritate the airways, leading to inflammation and the development of chronic lung diseases such as asthma and COPD. At home, it's important to ensure that the environment is free of mold, dust mites, and harsh cleaning products, which can release harmful compounds into the air. Outdoors, it's essential to avoid areas with high air pollution and use protective masks in situations where exposure to contaminants is unavoidable, such as in workplaces with dust or chemical fumes. Reducing exposure to these contaminants helps preserve lung health and prevent long-term respiratory problems, ensuring a better quality of life. 8. Adequate Ventilation – The Simple Trick to Breathe Better Keeping environments well ventilated is an important habit to ensure the quality of the air you breathe and protect your lungs. Poorly ventilated environments can accumulate indoor pollutants such as smoke, mold, dust, and chemical compounds from cleaning products that are harmful to respiratory health. Proper ventilation helps disperse these pollutants and allows fresh air in, reducing the risk of airway irritation and lung problems. At home, regularly opening windows, using exhaust fans in kitchens and bathrooms, and considering using air purifiers are effective measures to improve ventilation. At work, ensuring that ventilation systems are functioning properly is essential to maintaining a healthy environment. Good ventilation is a simple but effective strategy to protect your lungs and improve the quality of the air you breathe daily. 9. Reduce alcohol And see how your lungs will thank you. Reducing alcohol consumption is an important practice for maintaining lung health. Excessive alcohol consumption can weaken the immune system, making the lungs more susceptible to respiratory infections such as pneumonia. Additionally, alcohol can dehydrate the body, making it harder to eliminate mucus and increasing the risk of respiratory problems. Chronic alcohol consumption is also associated with severe lung diseases such as acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS which can be fatal. To protect your lungs, it's important to moderate alcohol consumption, opting for responsible and healthy intake. Maintaining a balanced lifestyle that includes a healthy diet, regular physical exercise, and proper hydration helps preserve lung health and prevent the negative effects of alcohol on the respiratory system. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness. See you in the next video.